This is the future. Well, welcome Crepzonians to Crepzone, and this is Minecraft episode 3 of season 2, and also our beginning of our fortress build. Now, if you guys remembered in the previous video, I showed you this book. That shows you exactly what we're gonna build. As you can see in the menu, there's a village, there's a fortress, there's a dungeon, there is barracks, there's even a torture chamber, there's trapped rooms, there is a cathedral. So this is a massive build, a big project, and I am so keen on taking this project on. So this is the portcullis. <laughs> And this is also the place where we begin our build. So before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. So I started off with getting a different mechanism from a different video someone else posted a video on how they think a gate should work and I tried to build a mechanism and guys it took me three days to build what you are seeing here this is really one of the most complicated builds that I've ever done the only problem is I didn't like this build you had a bottom button that activated the bottom to open the gate then there was a separate button on the top to open the gate and as you guys can see opening up the sand stays up you have to press the button again for the sand to go down that's not what we wanted and i tried to figure out ways to get the power button from the top to the bottom it didn't work second time i build it like this and um, this is now using the mechanism as in the manual as you guys can see i had to narrow my entrance way because one of the pistons refuses to work Piston number two at the top refuses to close the gate or open the gate properly. No, close the gate, sorry. Close the gate properly. So I don't know why this piston is not working. I found a video on YouTube that shows you how to build this mechanism as it's exactly the same mechanism as in the manual. And I built it exactly the same. But for some reason, piston number two at the top refuses to work. As you guys can see also, complicated build complicated system i have no idea how the repeaters and stuff work or what they actually do so maybe if i do some research on how they work i can maybe fix the problem and this time i just followed the build exactly and still i couldn't get it to work so anyway this was the first start of the of the build this was as you guys can see see on the on the left it doesn't totally go down so i had to narrow my entrance way to hide that section of the gate Otherwise, it would have been a bigger entrance. But I think it looks fine. I'm, I'm actually happy with it. Uh, so this was uh, after about two or three days of building. This is how far we got. It looks nice when all the lights and everything lights up. It's awesome. So as you guys can see, it opens up nice. It's just closing is a problem. Forwarding a few days later, I went and built the following. The molt, the drawbridge, Finishing up the bottom part and putting up the top part of the port colors. That was really taking some time. And I'm still not done. I just finished the, the basic build as you guys can see it here. So, let me show you what it looks like. This is now after finishing the top part of the port colors. We put in this nice uh, wood uh, design as in the manual. But I also added my own little touches and my own little designs so I didn't stick exactly to how it was also I realized a bit later that uh, one the one side of the gate was longer than the other so I had to chop off a whole section of the entrance way sorry guys if you hear any extra noises or birds and stuff it's one of those days where nothing wants to shut up when I try to make a recording 
Anyway, this is how my entrance looked like. Um, like I said, I used a bit of different wood, a bit of different thingies. I made my own banner with the loom, and this time I saved my banner inside a, a lockbox. I used this brown uh, concrete to make it look just a bit different. Forwarding another two days after this, we came to the end of the two side towers. Oh, look at my little bed. Yeah, you'll see my bed lying there because I decided I'm not going to go home every time it gets dark. It's just easier to sleep exactly where I am. So this is our first tower. Both towers look exactly the same, except for this spot, obviously, because um, the switch is right here. So the guard will go down on this side of the gate mechanism room or gate room to open up and close the gates. So nothing changed except for the stone and the tiling that I put in to make this look better. I closed off this section. Then you can go up the ladder to the first floor or first level of the tower. That gives you a overview or a lookout to see if there's any enemies. And this also goes into the top part of the mechanism, of the gate mechanism. So this is the top section. I think it worked out quite nice. I uh, actually like this. See, there's the one piston. It's not activating because the top one isn't pushing it down. I added this. I, the book doesn't show this. I wasn't even sure if this is actually part of the build. I assumed it was. So I added this um, balcony because there is a door in the manual, but it doesn't show where the door goes to. So as you guys also see, I extended the mount a bit and it's going to extend with the wall as we proceed with the building because one thing the manual doesn't tell you is how big area you actually need to build everything in. It's up to you to decide how you want to lay out the village. And um, I'm also going to add to the village a hospital and a school which is not part of the original design. And also want to add an aviary. So that's something else I want to add because we do have tropical birds in the game. Then this is the second level that goes up onto the top of the gatehouse or the portcullis. So you can see nice and far. So I've got plenty of space at the back to do what I need to do. And then lastly, the last section will go up to the top of the tower. Here we are now at the top of the lookout tower and uh, you can see nice and far. The next thing that I actually built was the first section of wall and um, I'm going to show you guys now what the wall looks inside because it's not like just like a plain wall. I had, a I had a, the right idea when I did the previous castle build with a walkway inside the wall. This time it is just more streamlined and according to the manual obviously it looks like this. I've got a bottom section and a middle section. To get the guards to move quicker inside the walls, you've got the windows at the bottom where they can shoot out from, and then you've got the steps that will take them up to the second part where they can look on, on top of the wall. And um, obviously I'm going to put in now, when I start building now again today, I'm going to put the extra walkways on the outside. So it's easier for the guards to either move into the wall or outside of the wall. There's multiple ways of moving alongside the wall. And then this is what the completed wall looks like. And this is then the final look of the port colors. So I'm going to continue today, extending the wall a bit, going downwards. And then our next build, I know the book shows the fortress next, but I think I'm going to build it in a logical way. Because the first thing I think that you want to see when you come into a new city is the marketplace, a tavern, a place where you can sleep. Get your horses some water, a place to sleep, you know, and get yourself a place to relax. So I'm going to do the marketplace first, then the businesses, then the houses, and then we get to the keep with the barracks and the army section. I think that's how I'm going to uh, proceed with this build. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please um, give me a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to this channel. 
and also you have to hit the bell icon if you want to get notified of the following or the next upload which will probably be later this week i've got a bit of a busy four days um, presenting courses and stuff so i might not be able to record any or post any videos in a few days but hit that bell icon and then you will definitely be notified of the next time that i will be able or that i'm able to load a video where you will probably see the next few things built and uh, i'm just going to show you guys now what this place looks like at night it actually looks quite nice and also from a distance from from my house that i built it's starting to look quite impressive i think it turned out quite well what did waste a lot of time is all this extra goodies you know the, the candles the, the all this little extra stuff that you have to add for the aesthetics that takes a lot of time um, i'm not used to building like this as you guys know i would just build a plain wall and just build a plain house and happiness and we're done but adding all this extra stuff it does make it look great but it takes a lot of time it took me almost a week just to build that first section so uh, as we go back to our little nah, to our house and to our little braai area look at that doesn't it look just like awesome it's so big and you can't miss it so anyway guys whatever you're doing remember to keep it safe and until next time cheers <laughs>